Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from azurautomation.com and welcome to the first video of year 2023 and today in this video we are going to talk about the launch of my new course event driven microservices develop and test with csharp.net if you remember last year i talked about event driven architecture a bit like understanding the basics and they were also asking about some of the question like how these patterns are working and what is the difference between them and how to test this particular uh, event driven architecture based applications and how that we could able to handle the failures and what is the best way of testing this application so this video caught a lot of attraction from the student asking how the event driven microservices can be tested in a better way and because explaining the testing of the event driven architecture doesn't really help you unless until you have a complete understanding of how the application really works i ended up developing a full blown event driven microservice application in this particular course so in this course as you can see over here we start off with the building of the event driven microservices starting from the api service broker the front end and also dockerizing the whole application as a microservice running inside the docker container and then we will start talking about the testing approaches and what are the different types of testing that we can do within the event driven microservice based application like the ui api integration as well as the contract testing so as of now for this particular course we don't really have the contract testing added yet but it is going to be coming pretty soon next couple of weeks but as of now you can see that this course is already 7 hours and has so many articles to be downloaded and you will see that there are so many things to learn in this particular course already well as that said i am going to show you quickly the application under test that we have built in this particular course as well as tested in this course thoroughly well as you can see over here this is the event driven system that we are going to be building in this whole course this applications are built completely using dotnet technologies so there is two service that we have one is the customer service another one is the inventory service and the customer service is built using the asp.net web api project as well as the uh, inventory service is built on the same asp.net web api project and there is the customer portal which is built using asp.net web app project as well as the inventory portal and then we have databases and then we have the message broker which is the rabbit mq so all these communications are going to happen in a real time using the event driven microservice system and in order to test this kind of application we really have to talk about a lot of checkpoints where we can test this application more efficiently and because this application has got so many checkpoint we are not going to be just testing the ui or the api but also we need to test the publisher and the subscriber model of this application using some of the different techniques that we can use within our application automation and that's what we'll be talking about in this particular course and because we have to do the whole testing ui api publisher and subscriber all those things where we are going to spend a lot of time and where is going to be a lot of tests going to be added is something that we are going to be discussing in this course a lot as well as you can see the testing pyramid which is going to help you understand where the tests are going to be sitting a lot unit testing component testing integration api and ui testing you will see that the unit testing and component testing is not something that i have covered in this particular course but the integration api ui test as well as the contract testing is the place that we are going to be focusing a lot in this particular course and the large amount of test are going to be sitting especially in the integration testing and that's what we are going to be discussing in the testing perspective in this particular course well as that said we'll quickly see how the application is going to look like in a demo so that you'll understand how the application behaves and also you will know that testing of this kind of fast system is going to be not just the ui or the api or integration but it's a combination of almost everything as you can see our application is going to have a front end which is nothing but the customer portal it's also going to have an eda underscore customer eda underscore inventory inventory portal and these are related to the testing part which we will talk while we start developing the test cases of our application like api ui and the integration tests in order to run this application we can run this completely in the docker container because as you can see over here we have the docker compose file which is responsible for running the whole application in the docker container itself so let me run this application in the docker container so i'm just going to do docker compose build parallel and docker compose up to start the whole application as you can see while the application invokes it is going to start the rabbit mq service broker and once the service broker is up then all the services will be up and running and we can access the application using the port localhost 8000 for the eda customer api and localhost 5001 for eda inventory service 
And then there are two portals, one is the inventory portal and another one is the customer portal. But as you can see, this application is quite straightforward. All it's going to do is it is going to have an inventory portal, which is going to create the products and these products are going to be served to the customer in the customer portal so that the customer can choose the product and they can purchase the product from here. So every time customer purchase the product which has been served from the inventory portal, the total number of product if it is reduced will be updated immediately in the inventory portal with the help of the RabbitMQ publisher and subscription model. So as you can see, if I go create a product, for example, keyboard over here, and if I want to create the keyboard of 200, you will notice that it is going to create a product for me, something like this. So it's going to show me the list of all the products over here. And similarly, I can choose, I can create another product over here, and I can have them like 900 of them, and you get another mouse product over here. And immediately you can see in the customer portal, if I do the products over here, you can see the list of all the products that are going to come in. And this is happening because I have my RabbitMQ service broker up and running. And you can see for this particular inventory product queue, I can see that the product being created messages are being spiked up over here. And now as a customer, if I just go to the customer portal and you purchase a product, for example, as Kartik, and if I purchase keyboard, you will notice that I get both these products coming up in my drop down, just the product which I already have within my products list. And now I can purchase a product using keyboard of 100. So remaining will be 100 because we already know that there are 200 keyboards. So once I do a submit, and if I go back to the inventory portal and if I refresh the page right now, you will notice that I have just 100 keyboards remaining. And this is happening once again because the customer portal is calling the EDA customer API which is then going to post a product being purchased from the customer and also publishes a message in the RabbitMQ inventory.customer topic, something like this. And you can see there is a spike being happened. And this is how the application is built from the event driven architecture so that every time any event happens, the interested subscriber is going to subscribe the message and the publisher is going to publish the event in the RabbitMQ message broker. Well, as that said, this is the course that I was talking about. If you are really interested in purchasing this course, just send me out an email or just use the coupon code EA launch 23. So you can just use this coupon code to avail the discount. It is almost more than 50 percentage because it's a launch offer. So just avail it and start learning it right now so that you'll know how awesome the actual development of the application is and how you can test the application in more robust fashion. Thank you.